So I remade my entire VR game from a new Unity project. A few weeks ago I released a demo for my VR game project Harbinger, and I was happy enough with this demo, but behind the scenes the code was a big mess. So I took a break and realised I needed to start from the very beginning, except this time I knew what I was making. Day 1, August 25th, I created a new project and started working. I started simply by getting VR working in the project, and I also made this little test scene which I used throughout the entire starting process. I also took my first attempt at making the advanced AI systems that I've been dreaming of, but this gets scrapped like three times. On day 2 I had the urge to do some modelling, so I opened up Blender and I made this guy, we call him the Contra. The reason they're called Conjurer has changed like three times so far, but I think we've finally settled on them being able to conjure up more of themselves if they're left alone for long enough. At this point, I really want this enemy AI system to be like really expandable, um, and I just can't work out how to make it. So I freak out, I impulse by a Unity asset, and then decide I want to try Unreal Engine. I actually really liked Unreal Engine. I only tested their AI system, which is this really neat state machine style. I managed to put together a, the Contra AI in less than a day, but ultimately decided that I would. So now we're back in Unity, and I have no clue how I need to make this. I've watched countless YouTube tutorials, but finally settled doing it myself. So I set up a damageable entity, I set up a state machine, it took me a few hours and it worked alright. And the enemy could now walk around and melee attack when they had a target. And I gave them a field of view so they could see other enemies and that also worked fine. And I made this all in a way that I could simply drag and drop scripts onto these enemies and I understand what to do with it. Basically I recreated Unreal State Machine System in Unity but without the nice UI and it's slightly more to work with. So I put this all back into the main project, made some changes and let the player absolutely call the shit out of these guys and that's where we're at. I also put the inventory system back into the game but you don't need to see that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I've linked the original demo in the description but a decent amount has changed since then so if you want the proper experience just wait a little bit. I plan on making a few levels and releasing a proper demo in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.